Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. In this video, I'm going to show you how to understand effects and bus tracks and how to manage the tracks in your mixer. So first of all, let's make my tracks here normal size. Okay, sometimes when you're adding an effects track, you might want to add a bus track instead of the effects track. And I'll show you why. For instance, if I go down to a guitar part here, now this guitar part has got no effects on it, as you can see in my sends. So there's different ways that we can add effects and bus tracks into our sends on our tracks. So one of the ways is to copy down, say, a reverb and copy that straight over to my send. Now, if I hold down my Alt key, you'll see it changes to add bus channel instead of add FX channel. First of all, let's add an FX channel and let's do the same and add a bus channel. Now, the way that Studio One names things sometimes can be quite confusing. I've got two reverbs here. So how do I distinguish between this room reverb and this room reverb? So if I right click and push show destination, my mixer will open and will highlight the channel that I'm on. So I'm going to change these to, let's call this, let's call this reverb bus. And let's call this reverb send. Sometimes I'll want to send an effect to another effect. And I can do this if I use a bus channel. As you can see here, we've got a send. So I can then send to any one of my other effects here. So I'm sending this reverb to a delay. So I can't do that if I use an effects channel. So it's always worth considering before you actually add an effect what you want to do with it, as you can't change it afterwards. Now there's some other things I'd like to show you inside the mixer. If you're like me, I'll have probably 30 different effects going on on a mix at any one time. So there's ways that we can manage that view in the mixer. So if I click over here on my wrench icon, I can choose keep effects channels to the right, keep bus channels to the right, and also we can choose to keep VCA channels to the right as well if we're using VCAs. So now I have all of my audio tracks over to the left. And as I come over to my right, all these gray ones here and my effects and bus channels. Now there's something else we can do inside the mixer to speed up the workflow. If I click on the arrow icon here and choose expand, we can have all of our most important parameters that we might need to change open to save opening the plugin. I'm Paul from Production Expert. I hope that's helped. I'll see you guys next time.